Hey, don't know if you can hear me. Um, I know I've been talking a little bit low. Um, but uh, anyway. So, got off work early today because we had pest control coming to our whole apartment complex. And anyway, just getting some stuff done. I stopped by to Taco Cabana, large Dr. Pepper, which is really cold and really good because again, when I'm at work, I'm go, go, go. Um, and I'm starving. And there's a whole lot of napping. I got steak taco or steak fajita taco. Um, and of course, everything always comes with my tomato. I won't eat all, all of those. Um, I got cheese and gelato taco. Mm -hmm. Good. Looks watery though. Kind of, kind of sort of watery. And then, oh wait, I guess. Cheese enchilada combo comes with two cheese enchiladas, uh, rice beans, and salad, and a tiny little bit of guac. Don't come to Taco Cabana a lot. The few times that I did come to Taco Cabana over the years, it was usually to get a breakfast taco box for the kids. Um, and then also a watermelon margarita to go for when I get home. <laughs> anyway. There was also no tarp, no parking right after the Taco Cabana drive through So I had to exit out and I'm in the IHOP parking lot right now. Because <sighs> I didn't feel like driving around. That was stupid that you can't just be in the parking lot after the thing. It's kind of hard to eat enchiladas in the car. Like I said, they look good, but they the sauce looks watery. But they are good. Need some salt, just a little bit of salt. So it's finally warmed up again here in Texas over the last few days. Thank goodness because I work in the cold all day. And when I come out from work on my breaks or to freaking go home, automatically strip everything off as I'm walking out of the building because I wanna soak up as much sun as I possibly can, like an iguana on a hot rock to warm up my body since I've been in the cold all day. So when it's cold in Texas, when you work in the freaking freezer all day, and you come out and it's just as cold again, it's never ending. So I'm appreciating back to the normal Texas sun and warmth. There's a lot of cars in the hot parking lot. Um, 
like I said, this isn't IHOP, this is Taco Cabana, but I had to park in the IHOP parking lot. Um, nobody's in the cars, thank goodness, because otherwise I would look like a total freaking idiot who's talking to myself and holding up food, you know, to a camera. But, nobody in the cars, thank goodness. Beaners are your typical beans. But they're creamy and cheesy too. Didn't know they were gonna have cheese in them. Rice is just regular rice, but everything is hitting the spot right now because like I said, I'm starving. Mm. Could, again, use a little bit of salt. People are going, people are getting into cars now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat any more of those beans because they're heavy. Ooh, they're heavy. I didn't ask for salsa or anything. And they didn't give me any. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Exactly what I'm going to do this weekend. Again, I would just love to be at home. Lazing around on my bed. Letting my feet recover. I'll say that. But then I would just be sleeping and relaxing the whole weekend away and not being productive and getting anything done. But it still sounds kind of good. There's no way to be ladylike when you're eating gooey, cheesy stuff in a car. Some sour cream would be good. maybe if they would have put a little bit more quack it seems like I just got like a little tiny little dollop I mean I guess it's okay for the fact that you know it's fast food enchiladas um, my own enchiladas that I made this past week were absolutely delicious and yummy I remember when I made them, as soon as I pulled them out and it was hard to get people to let them sit, you know, I like for stuff to sit so it's not super hot right away. Um, my son's not a huge enchilada fan because of the fact that the majority of the time it comes out spicy whether I want it to or not, but this time he was like, oh my gosh, they look really good and I'm ready to eat them. So. That was a plus and everybody dug in and I got like a plate with I don't know about three or four enchiladas I was too tired to make any rice to go with it so we just straight up ate enchiladas um, but it was perfect for the cold weather um, there was no leftovers clean plate clubs mm. but this will do since it's quick and fast, and I didn't have to cook it. Just 
Like, thank you for the food, Jeannie. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but whatever. It's hard to cut this crap with a plastic fork. Mm. I was contemplating getting a cookie, but I'm not much of a desserts kind of person. So I didn't get a cookie. That's when I was like, hmm. Margarita to go sounds kind of good. And they changed it too. It used to be. Margaritas to go. They had your stuff in the cup. And your little bottle of, you know, your liquor on the side. When you mix it yourself. You know, when you got home. But now, it's pre-mixed and taped off. I don't know if you can see that. But. We're still going to try it. I think I deserve, you know, a drink. Can't even lie. I'm getting kind of full. This was a heavy... A heavy meal for the afternoon. Probably won't come back to Taco Cabana again anytime soon. Unless, you know, it's for the, again, breakfast taco box. But, I mean, it still hits a spot, like I said. It serves its purpose. Which is to feed me. this rice. I'm over this rice. And I'm over the beans. And I'm over the enchilada. Um, yeah. Like I said, it was good. It served its purpose, which was to feed me. Um, I can't say. Oh my god, go out and get one. Take the heat of taco. Alright, it's big old honking pieces of steak. Smells really delicious, looks really yummy. I hope they're soft and not like jerky. Because that would be a disappointment. This is where I need some hot sauce, but again, forgot to ask for it. Mmm. Yes, ma'am. That's the saving grace right there. Mm. It's soft. It's not dry. Um, seasoned really good. I love, you know, the pepper. Mm -hmm. Just tender. Love it. Saving grace. Okay. I would come back for steak fajita tacos. <laughs> Honestly, I should have ordered like four steak fajita tacos and, you know, not bother with the plate. Meat eater.
full of people are looking. <laughs> Which is weird. But what do they know? I'm just someone sitting down eating lunch in my car. I'm talking to myself. Whatever. I'm not in the mood for tortillas. That's a whole lot of tortilla. I mean, I'm just gonna eat the meat out of it. <laughs> Breathe. That was a big bite. What's everybody else doing for the weekend? Give me some ideas. Some suggestions. So I don't sleep the whole weekend. So good. So very yummy. I did not make the baked chicken legs this week. I made chili. Which was delicious, but I used a packet of sazon. I don't know all the spices that are in it. Um, probably shouldn't have used that in chili. Never used it before. I've used it on other things. And it was really good, but it didn't go well in the chili. And then, of course, I made the enchiladas. It's possible. Possible. That I could make, um breakfast for dinner. Who doesn't love breakfast for dinner? I don't eat breakfast in the morning. I eat a little something, but I don't eat a breakfast breakfast. A, there's no time. And B, again, if I have too much food in my system in the morning, then I'll be totally worthless, useless, non-productive at work because I want to sleep. Breakfast for dinner is delicious. Let's see what the kids say. Well, anyway, I'm getting full. Um, about two more pieces of steak left in my taco, but I think I'm going to call it for now. Enjoy your weekend, everyone. Bye.